Hi guys, this is Sushant Kocher. Today we are going to talk about what glycogen is. In my previous videos, I have talked about uh, the word glycogen, and I told you that I'll talk about uh, glycogen in a separate video. So here it is. So our body has two main energy stores. One is fat. The another one is glycogen. So body reserves energy for future. Uh, so body stores energy in form of fat and glycogen in case it needs energy in future. Or let's say you stopped eating, so your uh, your body would derive energy from uh, fat. Uh, if you uh, in in uh, any case your body needs uh, energy from the energy stores, then the way to go is fat and glycogen. So glycogen is a chain of glucose. So it is a chain of glucose mo uh, molecules. It is a big molecule. and it is stored in muscle and liver so if this is your muscle uh, it has some glycogen stores and uh, they are used when your body needs energy quickly so uh, your body can derive energy from glycogen very quickly uh, while in the case of fat your body uh, needs some time to derive energy from fat so uh, basically your body use, uses glycogen stores when it needs energy quickly for example in uh, exercise like weight training lifting weights in the gym uh, your body uh, uses a lot of your glycogen stores because uh, it you, uh, you needs energy really quickly in those sort of exercises so uh, your glycogen stores get you gets used up in exercises and they gets refilled by carbohydrates especially complex carbohydrates so you do exercise your glycogen uh, stores get used up and you refill them by eating carbohydrates especially complex carbohydrates uh and glycogen stores uh, have a significant impact impact on performance uh, so if you train with full glycogen stores your performance will be significantly better if you train with depleted glycogen stores you would feel that you are not even able to lift Uh, uh very uh, less weights or it is really hard to pull weights that you can usually pull easily and so glycogen has a, a really big impact on performance and there is a property of glycogen that it holds water in the body so one glycogen molecules would hold some molecules of water so it creates an image of the muscle that the muscle is big because uh, the muscle is holding uh, glycogen and glycogen is holding water so indirectly muscle is holding water so uh, if the muscle is holding water the muscle looks bigger from outside so it creates an image that the muscle is bigger so you might get trick thinking thinking that your muscle is bigger but it's just holding glycogen and water and this holding water can lead to weight fluctuations a lot of times after exercising our weight goes down because we lose the glycogen stores and the water associated with them once they get refilled uh, the they again start holding water and then again our weight goes up due to the glycogen and the water that it holds so the weight fluctuation because of glycogen and its water holding can be up to 2 3 4 uh, kilograms or even more so the weight fluctuation can go to that extent that is just to give you an idea so that is what glycogen is your muscle holds glycogen and that glycogen is used when your body needs energy quickly um, so this was about glycogen if you like this video please uh, like comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye bye